Every year, PowerStop makes the journey from their headquarters in Chicago to the world-renowned SEMA show in Las Vegas. These rigs are equipped with some of the leading aftermarket manufactured auto parts and are put to a real-world test on the 5,000-mile journey across America. In a world full of boundaries, dead ends, and U-turns, where other vehicles see the end of the road, we see the start of the adventure. So join us where the pavement ends, on the trail to SEMA. The Power Stop Trail is presented by J.C. Whitney, the official part source, and Lucas Oil, the official oil supplier of the trail. In association with HP Tuners, connect, read, edit, write, drive. And Maxxis Tire, delivering high performance tires to the world. Contributing sponsors include Best Top, Icon Vehicle Dynamics, Optima Batteries, RCV Performance, Rugged Radio, and Vision Wheel. Huracan, Utah. Located in the very southwestern corner of Utah, it is the home of Sand Hollow State Park, featuring a uniquely beautiful red sand and rocky terrain flanked by a large crystal blue reservoir. This off-road playground features a little bit of everything, and even though Sand Hollow is one of the newest state parks in Utah, it's quickly becoming one of the most popular for rock crawling or sand dune jumping thrill seekers. But before the convoy can actually attempt to conquer these famous trails and claim a victory on Sand Mountain, this grueling schedule of fun having has taken its toll on some of the vehicles in this year's Trail to SEMA group. Fortunately for us, we are base camping out of Dixie Four Wheel Drive, the premier off-road shop here in St. George, Utah. We have the Trail to SEMA show up at the shop today. Uh, we were lucky enough to have them join us. They had to come pick up flags. Here at San Paolo, you have to run a flag eight feet off the ground. The difference between here and Moab is Moab, you have a destination and you have miles within the obstacles that you're going to. Here at San Hollow, you're, as soon as you're on the trail, you're obstacle, obstacle, obstacle. You get a lot of action, a lot of fun stuff. Everyone's mostly put together, still a little banged up, but got a few guys were doing a few things on, making sure they're ready to hit San Hollow. Pulled the truck in for just like a couple of items. Number one, we place a Zerk and grease the, the slip on the drive shaft that we damaged on the trail the other day. Herd's gonna go through the front end. He's gonna kind of refresh all the joints. I'm going to go around and just kind of check all the bearings and the kingpins and make sure everything's still tight and ready for the next big part of the trail and the road trip. So sort of a safety check and uh, one quick repair. So we appreciate them helping us out. So I'm really excited right now. The chemical guys, they hooked us up. Can't wait to clean up this windshield over here. Ooh, so fancy. I got too much mud on here to get anything really clean. We're here at Dixie Four Wheel Drive, but before we begin, I have to pay my debt. I made a bet with Matt that he wouldn't make it through Pritchett Canyon without breaking something on his scorpion crawler. And Matt, did you break anything? Nope. Did not break anything. So I owe him $100. So I'm going to get. American dollars. Ameri hold on, can you hold that and just, yeah, I left my wall in my truck, excuse me. Oh, yeah. Hey, Matt, can I ask you a question? Have you ever wondered what $100 of pennies looks like? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Get paid, sir. <laughs> That's 10,000 pennies. Now, because I am incredibly nice, this is how nice I am, Matt, I'll let you keep the bag. Because the original plan was just to put it all in your driver's seat. <laughs> I'm calling you in out there. Oh, okay, what are you so, calling me for? What's your bet? Well, I might not take it. What's your bet? On the next couple days, while next, we're wheeling. Two days, so if, two days. If I, can do it, if I can do an obstacle that Ian Johnson cannot do, he has to wear a bleeping jeep hat for an entire day, all the way down on his head. All right, I'll take that bet. Okay. Yep. All right, so there you go. I made my bet. He won. I lost. He got paid. Matt, pick up your pennies. <laughs> These are my pennies. I'm going to have a trail. A trail of pennies. 
With the mechanical catch-up work done, we aimed the convoy towards Sand Hollow to get set up for our first run on a trail called Milt's Mile. And we were thrilled to find out the man the trail is named after, Milt Thompson, would be leading us today. I call it the mile. It's listed as Milt's Mile, trail that we put in nearly 30 years ago. There'll be a lot of narrow slots, a few steep climbs, a few descents, just a lot of fun. The scenery out here on the trail is really nice. It just is enjoyable to get out, enjoyable to bring friends, introduce them to the area. It's just a lot of fun to be here. Uh, Milt is leading us down his own trail, so that's gonna be pretty cool. It always helps to have an experienced uh, trail leader. So, somebody who built the trail. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna climb over rocks again. It's sort of become a theme for the week. Well, where are we going today? We are doing Milt's Mile. Is that named after you, Milt? Yeah, but I didn't name it. Ooh, who named it? A friend of mine by the name of Tom Barcume out of Cedar City. They helped build the trail. Okay, yeah. give us a little rundown. Is this gonna be a hard trail, easy trail? Oh, tell me what's, what we're gonna see. I think for most of you guys, the fact you just run Pritchett, this is gonna seem like an easy trail. <laughs> There are some challenging obstacles in it. Uh, they do have bypasses around them if you don't want to go into them. But everyone should try the hardest line first, right? Uh, if they want to. Like I say, it's up to them. But they should at least try it. Well, it's, wor it's worth it. I'm really trying to get you to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really, uh, really trying for a yes. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, you do know that you own the shop that will be fixing any Jeep that breaks today, right? Yeah. <laughs> just, for, just reminding you of that, right? I mean, if yeah, I owned the shop in town, I'd be like, everyone hits every obstacle <laughs> no matter what and I'd call the shop and I'd be like stock up they're all coming in <laughs> all right come on hands in hands in okay it's gonna be Woo! one two three by parts of Dixie ready one, one two three by parts of Dixie, Dixie! Dixie! Good day on the trail. It's always fun when you can get a local in the game to sort of guide you around and show you stuff. And I like that. It's always fun. So out of all the celebrities on this show, not one of them starstruck me the way Milk did. Doesn't take much to make you happy, does it? No, but this is what I love. <laughs> I just asked Milk if he was going to spot me through every, every obstacle on the trail. And he said, if I, if I wanted him to, and I said, are you kidding me? I'd be honored. This might be the final test of Living Team's Jeep. This is not, are you scared? scared? No, I'm not scared. You scared? <laughs> no, I'm not scared. That's hair gel, that's not fear. It looks like he's been oh, scared straight. <laughs> you gotta take the same line I take, right? All right, go for it. Right. Get up that I'll get up that. See what you got. I did not expect that to go that easy, but that's no. years of experience of a guy saying, okay, I'm not gonna climb the sheer cliff part, he's gonna cheat it a little bit. But he didn't cheat it, he still climbed that thing, it was awesome. That's scary as all get out. I don't even think I can say the words on TV. But you're just, you don't see nothing but sky, and you're just hoping that you don't come over on your leg. <laughs> I, I get it, and then, but start hucking left. Built ten on the first one, more wheelbase would have certainly helped. You know, a better driver with more experience may have helped. They're gonna pull the cable, Jay. Now I'm gonna back you off on the cable. <laughs> <I know. laughs> 
Trust your spotter. They got a good eye on it. You go ahead and attach the cable when they tell you to. They'll get you out of it. Try another line. Second line, no problem. Piece of cake. A little adrenaline, a little nervous, but that was awesome. Can't wait to see what the next one's like. That makes a lot more sense. I just don't know if there's a JKU live. Long wheelbase kept getting in my bumper. Pretty much gotta get gotta get first shot while you're lined up, otherwise you get off in a bad line. So time to win. Save it for another obstacle. I've heard about this fourth option. So they gave me one line over here, one line over there, one line over there, but you know which one looks really nice? That dirt line right over there. That dirt line looks amazing. Look, Tiffany keeps showing up. We keep torturing her. She's brand new to this whole thing. She keeps showing up for more. That's one tough gal right there. Woo, that was easy. <laughs> All right, so we just got the last Jeep up, the very first obstacle here on Milt's Mile. Everything was kind of exciting and normal. Um, we had some tires in the air, some guys uh, struggle a little bit, and then we're gonna drop in behind Milt, get the rest of this thing. Well, this is one of the obstacles, there's no bypass to it. Either go up around the obstacle or take the choose the harder line. And we're gonna go the main standard line and show the guys that don't look over the face. Talking to Milt, there's like three or four lines we're looking at. We got a bypass line that goes all the way around the outside. We can go right up the middle. I'm a little worried about that giant sand hole. This is apparently the buggy line. And then the line that we're also contemplating is to go across the sand and then huck a left and go up. I mean, the hard line, he said he was coming up the middle. Let's keep wheeling! Yeah, it was a kind of an optional line, a little steeper than the, uh, the lines everyone else was doing, and pretty steep. So we just kind of put it in low, let it crawl a little bit. This place has amazing traction, so just popped right up here, no problem. That, that was puckery. That, that had, uh, you know, the seat was in me. He couldn't see what I saw from the from the outside, but uh, he was he was fully unsprung on the front, yeah. and the bubble in the tire was out. Which, yeah. That doesn't normally happen on the Suburban, so she was getting a little light in the front, yeah. but he just keep it real slow and crawl up and, and uh, up and out. Yeah, up and out. That was something. <laughs> Guys, I'm broke. Eyes up, I'm bleeping. You're broke, Jason? Yeah. My day's done. Um, because of my lack of technique, I ran out of talent on that little climb there. Because it's you know stick sh uh, manual shift Jeep, there's there's no give in the drive line. I got a little bit too much traction, a little bit too much throttle, and I actually twisted <laughs> this. This is the differential housing on the axle tube. So here, that's the plug weld from the factory where this thing should actually be. It has twisted that what half an inch in there. So now my these tubes have now twisted and because they're attached to the Jeep frame with the suspension control arms and now my drive shaft's toast. So what I have to do now, get out of the way, figure out a way back, at, back down that obstacle and then limp this thing. I'll probably take the, drive, the rear drive shaft out 
keep it in four wheel drive and just use front wheel drive to get back into town to Dixie. Thank goodness they're here. And um, there may be a way to fix this. Uh, you know, this could get cost expensive, but hopefully we can fix it. We'll see. With the rear differential twisted into a dangerous bind on my Jeep, David stepped in and hooked me up to his mighty Suburban, making sure nothing gets out of hand and adding a bit of security as I limp the Jeep back down the rock face, relying on just my brakes. Thank goodness for my power stop brakes. Torture test confirmed. This is not fun, but I'm glad I have them. So this is, not, this is my first real trail break, so, you know, and in the scheme of things, it's not like a control arm, it's not something structural, nothing dangerous happened during the climb, I found it, you know, after, so. It happens. At least it's a break where you can limp it out of here. Exactly. There's so, plenty of breaks where you can't limp it out of here. Yeah. And you're so, fixing it on the trail. And we're, and we're early in the trail, so, yeah. the, it, you know, it's not far. So it's as good as it can be. Now, the challenge for me, they get to have, be fun going up and having fun on the trail. My fun is the challenge to limp this thing out of here. This is for you, Ian Johnson. All right, you have I... to wear this down on top of your head All right. for the rest of the day. Yep. Because uh, you didn't make it up that last time. I understand back. completely. What, the, what is he doing? Modifying oh, the hat, God. man. This is cheating. <laughs> no, it's not. Every, <laughs> every single time he has to cheat somehow. Tell you what, just because I like you Keep the so much, I'm going to leave the bleep and jake logo, logo on there. Oh, yeah. It's perfect. What a douche. <laughs> what a douche. Well, have you, have you ever seen me wear a hat? This is how I wear all my hats. There's Guy Fury here. Oh, I'm not mad at that at all. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> you got it, man. You're going to sell these now, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Ian Johnson yeah. Signature Series Bleeping Jeep Hats. Yeah. going to say, do you want me to sign it? And you can put it on your website. And you can, if you, I'll sign this if you sell it and donate the money to charity. Absolutely. I'll match everything that you raise. We'll we'll do donate, that. Who, do we, who should we donate it to? What kind of charity do you Saint like? St. Jude. What's that? St. Jude's. I'm good with St. Jude. With everyone in the group gaining more and more confidence in the almost unbelievable amount of traction these Red Rocks offered, the level of intensity seemed to go up as well. Trail to SEMA Jeeps were getting sent up almost anything Milt's Mile had to offer. That is until we encountered an obstacle called Three Monkeys. So it's this oh, one, this one, that this, one, or he said if it's really options, options. Way he way said you can there. go like way up and out of some of this way. This near vertical V notch ledge climb was deceptively tough. And with the mile having its say by claiming one Jeep already today, Georges saw no evil in trying this obstacle. But his brand new JL would hear it differently. That's where we stop. All right, back off. Well, the JL tried to do the super hard line. I thought he almost had it, but then he slipped off it at the last minute. 
Pretty sure it cost them a door. Problem is, when you get these rigs like almost vertical like that, automatic transmission pickup becomes uncovered and then you have no gears. So when he got up, he couldn't even back out. The winch line on the front, so he uh, doesn't flop over when they're trying to winch it down. They're just basically trying to lower him down off. And then hopefully the truck will start and drive. We'll find out. Then we can all look at the door, damage on the door, and we can all go, oh, jail door, ow. Look up on Craigslist, how much they cost, make fun of them. It'd be a great evening. Jared has yeah. no cares. Yep, that is the ball example ball. of ain't care like to clean it up. Yeah. Yeah. He has no cares. Yeah. Yeah. And that is the group. But he's having a good time. He's still smiling. That's true. He's having a good time. Hey, guys. We're looking good. See? Hey, guys. Woo! Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. We had to do a lot of work, and I feel awful that uh, everyone had to wait for me. Uh, I think they're getting their entertainment. <laughs> so we got uh, our bleeping deep band-aid repair. This will repair any trail damage you can imagine. All you gotta do is stick it on, you're good to go. <laughs> there you go. Got gotcha. you. You're all set. All set, ready to go. We're finding new wonderful things on the JLs. Going down. It won't start. The right. HP guys have checked it. The Tranny is saying it's in fifth gear or first gear. Half time it keeps changing. And while you have a dedicated group doing the repair, too many, you know, we don't want to be too many cooks in the kitchen. So a lot of us bow out and come over here and we bro out over here telling stories, dirty jokes, you know, um, expand upon world conscious, things that, you know, help propel society forward. It's kind of, you know, the basic trail etiquette. I think I just got hit by a rock. It's like day at the beach, you know, with the breeze and nice weather. Got Thank my mattress trade. top. People keep walking up and down the hill, but it's it's been hours. So we're at the point now we've got the transfer case shifted into neutral. We're going to tow it up out of here, down to the bottom, the sand hollow in the staging area, bring a till deck trailer and haul it back to the shop so we can get it sorted out and get it fixed. Milt's Mile lived up to its reputation as being the benchmark trail here in Sand Hollow. It isn't the most difficult trail, but the fun rating is off the charts. Plus, how often do you get to run a trail with a guy it's named after? As the sun set over our day on the mile, the group started to creep its way out of Sand Hollow. The Red Rocks had claimed two of our Jeeps today, so we headed back to Dixie 4x4 to see if they could work some magic on our broken jump. I'm broken, he's broken, we're broken. And ended up having an impromptu party night with some pretty special new friends. I saw online that Ian Johnson was in town and wanted to stop by and meet him. I've been a big fan for a long time. Welcome to Dixie 4 Drive. How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? What's My your name? name? Is Jason. How you doing? Jason, we found each other on Instagram. Yes, sir. Instagram, right there, live. Texted me. I was on the trail, or messaged me. I'm buying Jeep. I'm selling Jeeps today. Cheap. I'm, I'm milk. I'm milk. I'm cleaning house over here. Selling Jeeps cheap. So that's head to SEMA, I guess tomorrow. Yeah, that's your SEMA build. I like that. So that's head to SEMA. The JL. We don't know what's wrong with it. It's broken. It won't start. But we'll figure that out tomorrow. That's it. This is the shop. Yeah, absolutely. All right, ready? All right, kids. Hey, look hey. Up. Okay, we have three tires. You're gonna race side by side. Okay. So pick wisely with your partners. We're timing them. The winners of each heat move on to the next heat. So Woo. on and so on until we have our winner. On your marks. Get set. Go. Sign, Prince. Yes. 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 Yes.
thank you to everyone at Dixon Four Drive for opening up the most amazing off-road shop and let us eat food here. Thank you. Yeah. And George, uh, you don't have to thank him yet because the picture done. <laughs> but uh, maybe they'll, they, I think they'll still stand on that other, that we could do some work on some trade. 50, 50, 50. 50, 50 flat with, with the JL? 50 and, and my JL. 50 and a JL. Let's make, break that up. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it. Everyone go to bed. Have a good night. Bye, Bye, guys. Bye. Next time on the Power Stop Trail. The convoy continues their adventure in Huracan, Utah, exploring the terrain of the Double Sammy Trail. All of this and more on the next episode of the Power Stop Trail.